and we'll and we will be looking at Wikidata. Wikidata, a topic or uh, one of the projects that a lot of us have heard of, and some people might be hearing this for the first time. So when Wikipedia came and it was all about long articles, it was all about um, struct, uh, what's the name, structured articles and paragraphs, then people started thinking, how do we make this information we keep on Wikipedia both human readable and machine readable. And then that gave birth to the idea of Wikidata. So without much ado, I'm going to be sharing my screen and then you can follow suit. Please feel free to ask questions at any point in time. And Madam Moderator, Awumbotma, please kindly um, alert me when there's a question in the chat I missed. So I'm sharing my screen. Please confirm to me if you can see my screen. Um, not yet. Is it visible now? Yes, it's visible now. All right, so going into slideshow mode. So when we talk about um, Wikidata, Wikidata is one of the uh, 16 Wikimedia projects. And then it's basically um, about structured data. It's a free encyclopedia that is also contributed to by volunteers like you and I. And then it is also collaborative. When we say it's collaborative, it means as and when you want to contribute to Wikidata, you are free to do that. And your contribution will not stop me from contributing, right? So that makes it a collaborative platform. Wikidata is currently the only multilingual platform that connects all the Wikimedia projects and also connects the articles that we create on Wikipedia to all the 300 and uh, the over 330 languages that are currently supported. Uh, what this means is that if you have an item on Wikidata, let's say Ghana, an item for Ghana, this item can be connected to all the articles on Wikipedia that exist in different languages to the same item. So if I speak Dagbani, I simply go to the Wikidata item Ghana, then I can navigate to the Wikipedia article in Dagbani and read that. If I speak Guruni, if I speak Dagari, if I speak Kusal, if I speak Mori, if I speak Ghanaian Pidgin, once we have this article connected to it, then we can get to that level to read that article without having to search it out on Wikipedia. So we say it is multilingual. Again, um, it allows us to be able to add um, our language bubbles and also enter the language labels and descriptions in our own language. Wikipedia, uh, Wikidata is also a secondary storage database. What that means is that if we have um, some data sitting somewhere on the internet archives, we can mirror that on Wikidata. And because we are mirroring it on Wikidata, we can use machine readable language to connect it to all the uh, databases that information can be found in. For instance, um, Ghana or someone's research article has been published on Wikidata and also published on Google Scholar and also published on IEEE and also publish on Science Direct and other online databases. Once we create an item for it on Wikidata, then we are able to find that connection in a very uh, good visualization format so that you can easily see how they are related or connected. It allow us to also collect structured data. So unlike Wikipedia that comes in paragraphs, uh, rolling up sentences that develop into paragraphs, that develop into sections. For Wikidata, you have single statements with, um, and these statements are made up of their properties and their values. And these individual statements come together to give us a collective understanding of that particular item we are creating. It is again both human readable and machine readable. You and I can read it and understand it, and machine or um, automated machines will be able to also understand the content we create there. How do they understand that? 
every item, unlike Wikipedia, we create on Wikidata, is assigned a unique number. So you remember back in the days in senior high school in at the university when students were given index numbers, right? So your index number uniquely identifies you. So if you are two people in the same class bearing the same name, the only way you can be differentiated is through your index numbers. So on Wikidata, we also have what we call the QID, and every item is assigned a unique QID. So the first item that was created was assigned Q1, the second one Q2, up to now and as and when people create more items, they will be assigned the next number on the QID number list. Again, it allows us to connect to other Wikimedia projects. So on Wikidata, you have the opportunity or you have the chance to connect the item you have created to Wikipedia, to Wikibooks, to Wiktionary, to Wikivoyage, to even MetaWiki, Wikimedia Commons, name them, Wikinews, and all the other sister projects that are associated with Wikipedia. So we say it connects other wikis. Now on Wikipedia, we call the various articles articles, but on Wikidata, the things we create there, we call them items. So for you to be able to contribute in your own language, you need to have this simple code I have here. Uh, we call it bubble in Wikidata. And this bubble allows you to be able to have the languages you speak and understand show up on your user talk page. And anytime you open a particular item, you have um, these languages displayed and you can enter um, labels and descriptions in your language. So I'm going to get this text in the chat. Um, when we get to that point where we can add this bubble, I'll pause for us to do the demo. Now on Wikidata, I need to get this. This is blocking some of the things, okay. But if you can see what is on my screen now, we have, we have an item called Douglas Adam. The Douglas Adam is the human readable format. So this is the structure of a Wikidata item. This is how a Wikidata item basically looks like. Now, the, every item you, you create, like I mentioned, is assigned a unique QID. So the QID or the unique number that identifies this particular item is Q42. So go onto Wikidata and search for Q42 then you, they will display for you Douglas Adam, right? Now, each item also have got a uh, description. And this description is just a short statement. It's just a short statement that basically identify and explain the kind of item you are doing. Then we have what we call the aliases. The aliases are other forms or other variations, other ways um, certain items are known for. For example, um, let's see what name should I use? What name should I use? Okay, let me use my name. So officially, I'm called Mohamed Kamal Din Fusaini. Other people call me Dipantichi. Other people should talk. So the rest of the names that I have are aliases, right? So anytime those names are mentioned, they refer back to me. Now we also have... Um, what we call statement. When you create an item, you don't add statement. It's like just creating a Wikipedia article with only just a title, and that is it. So on Wikidata, we need to add statements. These statements are the, the various statements that gives us more information about the item. For instance, we have the property educated at, but before that, every statement has got a property and a value. And the value can also have qualifiers. Now, these qualifiers, including the values, can have references. Okay. The references makes the item we have created more useful and allows people to verify whatever we have added. So the we have we have over 
uh, 11,000 properties. And based on the kind of item you are trying to create, that should tell you the kind of property to use. One of the commonest properties we use is the instance of. And the instance of simply means like, what kind of item are you creating? So if I'm creating an item for a human being, the instance of would be what human. If I'm creating an item for um, a community or a village or a town, the instance of will be human settlement. If I'm creating an item for a school, depending upon what kind of school, if it's a primary school, the instance of will be what primary school. If it's a junior high school, it will be high school. Or general, I can just keep the school. So the instance of basically just gives you one line of statement that identify the kind of item that you create. And from the onset of the instance of then the kind of properties you need to add would now differ. So if you are creating an item for a human being, the properties you are going to use and will look different from the items, the properties you'll be using for a community, the properties you'll be using for um, an animal, a pet, a tree, um, a plant or an animal. Basically, the properties are defined by what you are creating for. And we'll get to, to demonstrate that. So I have here a list of different kind of items that we can create with examples, uh, with examples from Wikidata. So we can create items for persons, for example, Nana Akufuado, without any political lenses. I've just added this because um, this has got enough properties and statements that can guide us to be able to understand the scope of the properties we need to use when we are creating an item for persons. We also have places, places like Bangladesh, places like Tamale. So if you are creating an item for a place, a community, a village, uh, a hamlet, where human beings settle, then you can just search for Tamale or Bangladesh, Accra, Kumasi, Bolgatanga. Then you will have the various statements or properties that you can use. When it comes to books, we have, for example, the 48 Laws of Power. When it comes to music, we have different, uh, there's a music entitled Different Colors by Lucky to be Different Colors. One people, or what is it by Bob Marley? I can't remember. Then we also have Educational Curricula. Educational Curricula can also be created on Wikidata. For instance, Social Studies Curriculum for Basic 7 based on the new curriculum uh, that has been ruled for Ghana Education Service. You can also create items for publications, I mean, research papers that are published um, on other journals and other places or other databases. You can also create items for names, names such as Muhammad, Mary, and even most importantly, our traditional names, the Pantiji, Naporo, Shitovo, Maltiti, uh, Yumza, like those kind of names. So you can create names for our, uh, you can create items for our indigenous names. You can create items for family names. Um, if you look at the Northern Territory and even Africa uh, in general, we have got family names. So you go somewhere, they ask you your name. And the next question they ask you is, where are you from? Or which family are you from? We can create items for these families. And if you want to, if you want an example of a family name, John is an example of a family name. You can as well create items for schools and for you to find something that you can mirror. Tamale Senior High School is there or Kalpohen Senior High School, my alma mater. If you want festivals, you can create items for festivals, festivals that are celebrated around your territories. So in Dagbon, we have Boon Festival, we have uh, Damba Festival, we have Chini Festival, we have the Idel Pito, we have the Idel Adha, and so many others. You can create items for dishes, special dishes like the Tuozapi, I mean Satuluga, and all other um, local dishes that you know. You can create items for Bra, uh, Salem Vau, like all kinds of local dishes and uh, cuisines that you know. You can create items for them. 
because these are things we can document online and creating items for them makes it human readable and machine readable. We can create items for special dances that are known to our various cultural practices. I'm just mentioning these kind of examples so that when we get into the practical demo, each one of us will have the opportunity and chance to be able to create an item. And you can always, you can just refer to any of these examples um, as a reference point to follow through the practical demo. Special dance like Bamaya, Takai, Nabiao, and even under Nabiao, we have different kinds of Nabiao. I mean, the styles, the dancing styles are different, and you can create items for the different kinds of Nabiao, Ninjao, and all that, and find a way of connecting them. Wikidata gives you that power and ability to be able to connect different items that are related. Okay. Then we, you can also create items for poems. When I say poems here, I'm not referring to poems we have written ourselves that are still sitting in our in our diaries. I'm talking about published poems, poems that are written by poets that are published in books that are published in other places that you can um, create items for. You can also create items for hotels and motels and guest houses and inns. But for guest houses, uh, we need to be a bit careful because we have some guest houses that spring up and in less than three, four, five years, they are gone. But notable guest houses, notable um, hotels, notable inns, we can create items for them. So first of all, how do you create an item? Before you create an item, you need to search the interface. You need to search on Wikidata just to be sure that you are not creating a duplicate. And sometimes we always advise if you, it's good you tweak up the um, the spelling. Afomusa hand is raised. Afomusa, please go ahead. Okay. I don't know whether it is from my end alone. That bar that indicates the uh, share button, the play, the pause, and those things. No? That bar on your laptop is blocking the, the title of the slide. I don't know whether yes. it's only from my end. So you can hide yeah, it. It's all... Yeah, I'm trying to hide it, but uh, hide the annotators. No. I'm trying to hide it, but it's been stubborn. Then maybe yes. you could just shift it a, lit a little bit upwards. A little bit upwards, maybe. Or okay. Down. Up. I can even... Or down. Uh -huh. Thank you so much. There's usually uh -huh. some cut like this, but tonight is just. Good to <laughs> Sorry, the shortcut. I, I, I know it's not working tonight, and that is why I'm not able to hide it. Uh, so for the creation of items, like I was saying, Afamusa, thank you so much for the input. To create an item, you need to search to be sure that you are not duplicating an item, right? And once you search and you don't find that, you first of all, it is it is advisable to create the item in English first or you, to, ha to give the English label first, then you can move to other uh, languages but of course you can also start from your language but i always would advise that we start from english because if it is in english it is more discoverable than when we started from our language for instance if i start something in dagwani it will be very difficult for people for anybody who doesn't understand Dagbani, to be able to translate that into their language but if i started in english even french speakers portuguese um german speakers and whatever like any language at all, so long as a person can understand and read and write English, the person will be able to uh, translate that into their language. So um, at this junction, G, I would want to get questions. And if there are no questions, uh, let's get our hands dirty. So first of all, let's try to see how to launch Wikidata. For you to launch Wikidata, um, just open your browser either on your phone 
or on your laptop, then you type wikidata, wikidata.org. The Wikidata is spelled as W I K I D A T A dot org. Then you hit enter. Now it opens up um, on the Wikidata page for you. And this is the Wikidata interface. If you are if you have logged in on your browser before, that is on Wikipedia, then you'll be automatically logged in. If you are not logged in, feel free at the top right corner you will find okay is someone making a submission please all right so at the top right corner you will find um the login button and you can click on login and enter your login credentials i mean your username and your password once that is done you are also going to come to this same page that you are looking at. So let's just take a few a few moments to explore the interface before we look at creating items. So when you open the page like this, it just looks like the Wikipedia page. The only difference is that here we have the main page that brings you back here. So anytime you find yourself lost, please come back and click on main page so that you come back to the main page. Then we have the community portal. The community portal is where uh, on Wikipedia we'll call it the village form. Uh, Mabilogudundong. This is where uh, Wikidata, Wikidata shares or people contributing to Wikidata come to discuss ideas. Then we have project chat. This is where project chat related to a specific project that is currently around on Wikidata is being made. Then we have the create a new item button. So if you come and you are so sure that whatever you are creating is, is a new item, you can always use this. Or after making all your search, you can always come back and use the create new item here. Then we have the recent changes. The recent changes shows you the list of all the changes that have been made over time. So every second when people edit Wikidata, this is where it is recorded. Then we have random item. If I click on random item now, it's the system automatically just randomly go through this uh, Wikidata database and pick an item for me. Then we have the query service, meaning question service. This is where we ask questions for answers. Then we have the nearby. Nearby basically um, gives you items or yes, items that are closer to you based on your geographic location. So when you click on nearby, um, it will ask you to enable your location. And once you enable that, so if you are located in Tamale, they will give you items related to Tamale, items related to the nearby communities or your surrounding, like they don't take you so far. Then we have help. This is where you come to seek for help. Then we have donate. If you want to donate money to assist volunteers like us to continue contributing content across the globe, then you can donate some cash to Wikidata or to the Wikimedia Foundation. And uh, what we find at the bottom here are lexicographical data, which we'll be looking at uh, in our future lessons. Now we have the... Interrupt you, uh, but, but we have a hand. Someone's hand has been up for some time, so uh, maybe... Okay. I don't know if it's a mission or it's a question. Um, yeah, so please, don't go ahead. Yeah, so John, for your hand is up. All right, so thank you so much. Um, our presenter, I, I, I want to ask a question. I don't know if Wikidata has the same rules as Wikipedia where I can create an item for myself or I cannot create an item for myself. For example, if I want to create an item for my name, Thank you. Thank you so much for your question. This is a brilliant question. So Wikidata, just like any other Wikimedia projects, um, builds on the uh, notability criteria. So before you create an item for something, it needs to meet the notability criteria. And it is an established fact on Wikidata that names of people, when I say names of people, um, 
not name as in person, but name as in name. For example, the name Muhammad, the name Kamaljin, the name Jahanfu. This is just a name. If you are creating an item for it, it's automatically, uh, how do we call it? Notable. If you are creating an item for plays, for uh, schools, for institutions, they are already notable. But to create an item for your person, uh, for yourself as a human being, uh, it is it is a violation of the rules. And also, you would have been confronted with uh, what we call conflict of interest, because we all know that if you are writing about yourself, no matter how objective you want to be, you end up being subjective. But there is an exception to this rule. If you become a foundation staff, okay, if you begin working for the foundation, you are required to create an item for yourself and indicate the role you play and all that on your talk page and all that. That is a different ball game together. But as volunteers like us, we are not supposed to create items for ourselves or influence the creation of items for ourselves by other volunteers. For example, maybe if Jehanfo come back door and tell me, okay, Shitabu, please create an item for me. It's a violation of the rules. So we don't create items for ourselves or people that we know directly that we can be subjective when we are creating items for them. As much as possible, we need to be very objective when we are creating the items. I don't know if this answers your question, Naja Hanfo. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you so much. You're welcome. So, um, manager, can we continue? Um, yes, please. All right. So, um, we're still exploring the interface. And one of the most important features is that is the search wiki data. So, this is where we search for items. But below that when you look when you check on the main page we have a bunch of resources you can look at we have get involved so you can go through this page this list of uh text to learn more these are news related to wikidata discover if you want to discover other wiki projects that are ongoing contact if you want to contact the wikidata team or join the wikidata telegram page is here or join the Wikidata mailing list is also here. Then we also have current highlights. The current highlights are just like, uh, just like on our Wikipedia, we sometimes select some articles and we showcase them. So these are current highlights. Then we also have the learn about data. If you want to learn generally about data, what data is or what Wikidata is, you can come here. Click on this link and you can learn more about that. First of all, let's look at the structure of a Wikidata item, how a Wikidata item looks like. And I'm going to be searching Tamale. Tamale. Now, if we create, if we search for Tamale, you are going to find different things related to Tamale. Okay. So I think the one that I want or I want to look at is the is this particular one. So this is the label, human readable. Then this is the uh, QID, which is machine readable also. Then you see that you see that we have the language code for these things. We have Dagbani, we have Fra Fra, and then the Dagbani label is there. There's no label for Fra Fra. And then the list continues. I could have added as many languages as possible, provided I can speak all those languages. The instance of we mentioned, we know that Tamil is an instance of a city, an instance of a big city, and an instance of a metropolitan area. Now, when you find a list of values this way, then we say that particular item has multiple values. So the property instance of has got multiple values, right? The, the city Tamale is located in which continent? Is located in Africa? Is located in which country? Is located in Ghana? And is located in which specific place? I mean, when we look at the 
a political gerrymandering of Ghana, in which political gerrymandering is um, is normally located in. So that is why we have it located in the administrative territorial entity. It is in the Tamale Metropolitan District. What is the official language of the people of Tamale? It is English and Dagwani. Um, it shares borders with which communities? It shares borders with the Sandargo Municipal and all that. So the list continues. So this is basically um, how we model items on Wikidata. So for now, I'm going to demonstrate um, the creation of an item. Um, in a body with a suggestion on what you think we can create places to whatever we can create for now, you can just mention that then we can do that. Hello, yes, hello. Uh, do you have a wiki data item for um red red clay red clay studios in Tamil? Red clay. In uh, Tamil. Let's check red clay. Red clay consultant archaeology. So we are going to search for red clay, and if it is not there. Then we can create that. So as you were doing your search, I realized that so many red clays pop up. But our yes. intention is to create for the red clay in Tamale. So um, as somebody who wants to create an article and he sees something like that, what does that imply? Or uh, what are you supposed to do? What are we, uh, so, so if you if you search and you find so many um pop ups that refers to the same thing as we are trying to create, you basically have to look at the description. So here we have red clay, and the description is Wikimedia disambiguation page, red clay album by Freddie Hubbard. So the description basically will tell you whether it is referring to what you act, what you intended to create or not. I don't know if this is clear, or you you can throw more light on that. So that's that's okay. All right, thank you. So um, I think from what I'm seeing here, and from what you are also seeing, uh, okay, I think we have something like that. Red clay studio. So you see, if we had just gone ahead to create for red clay, would have been. Let me use the Dagbani proverb would have been doing ourselves because we have red clay studio here so let's click on red clay studio so red clay studio a museum and cultural space in nantong district ghana beautiful so this is this or this exists already so it means we can we don't have to create it but we can look through and see if it has all the properties we, we intended. Yeah, I think that is the place. You see the image? Okay. Yeah, that is the place. Um, is there any other item someone has in mind? It could be music, it could be dance, it could be food, it could be, I, I mean, anything. anything What's about the ever. other studio in there? Uh, the other studio, SCC, Savannah for Contemporary Art Center, in just around Senate, which is also uh, Savannah, Savannah. So let's see. Let's search for SCC to see if it exists. I'm searching for I'm searching with the acronym because um, ideally you remember we spoke about uh, aliases. So if you create an item think, for the Savannah, I think, I think it's there. Is there already? You should you should have added the SCC as an alias, the abbreviation as an alias. 
so that it becomes easy to discover. Please, who knows the name of our current uh, regional minister for Northern Region? The full name of our regional minister. Hello. Please, if you know the, the, the name of our regional minister kindly, uh, unmute and mention that for us. I don't know. Is it on our list, Alpha? I'm sorry, no, 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 no. And while we are creating items, we don't also add the titles. So, what he's called honorable does not mean we should start it with honorable when we are creating an item for him. <laughs> Someone's microphone is on and it's, and it's, in, it's interfering, please. Hello. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think it's there already. Mayor of Tamale. How about the regional minister for Upper East or Upper West? Okay, let me let me create for this. You can also try and put my boy name and let's see if it is there. Okay, I want to create for it's a title. Cholon, huh? You know we have Yan now, we have Cholon now, we have Savilo Gulana. These are titles and these are recognized titles that we deserve to have items so we are going to use the challenge as a as a title to create for so from the search results it's, it's clear that we don't have anything like challenge so i can create an item for it so challenge now So, because my level, uh, my language is set to English, that is why I am not, uh, I'm not spelling the Tolong, the local way or the Dagbani way. But if I get to my Dagbani label, I'm going to change the spelling here. So instead of Tolong, I'll make it Tolong as the way it's supposed to be pronounced by natives. So the description of this will be what. Please, are there other ways uh, he's called? I mean, the Tolana. Are there other ways they call the Tolana? Is it okay to keep an alias as uh uh you or Lena, like using the appellation of the place? You know, in for places like Savlo, we say uh you yili, places like Kumbung we say uh Sandar yili and all that. Can we use uh 
Can we use the title or the phrase relation for the chieftaincy title as an alias? Avamosa. Hello. Please, am I so audible? Yes, yes. All right. So uh, we've created an item for so long now. We are going to be adding statements to make it more meaningful. Because if you just create an item to long now, what does that mean? What does it stand for? So we need to add statements to make it more uh, hello, meaningful. Uh, hello, hello, hello. Yes, I was asking if we can add um uh, the the phrase application for the chieftaincy title to alumna as when you or when you or yilana or something like that. And I was making reference to places like Kumbu where we say Sandara or uh, a place like Savulugu where we can say your yili, a place like uh Diyale, where you say Kambang Yili or combine combine yellana and all that i mean keeping it as an alias i don't know if my question is clear Yes, it's clear. Yes, it's clear. All right. So, um, what do you think? Yeah, I think it's good. Think it's good. Can add it. So, if we can add it, let me just add it here. Then, because of time, I'll leave the the one label and description, and just come and keep uh, and just come and keep an alias here as uh. When you're when you're so when you're a if someone comes searching when you're a yellana, definitely it's going to bring out the toilet now as an item for the person. So this will prevent duplication in future. Maybe someone wants to create for when you are a which is referring to the same title to Alana. So now let's look at how to add statements for titles like this. So I'm going to uh, click on add statement. And when I click on add statement, it's going to display this box for me where they write in the property. The property is, is what kind of property do I want to start with? I want to begin with the instance of. So what kind of item are we creating? You we are know. creating an item for a title. So this is uh, what we are looking for. Qualified name, rank, or other indication of a class or rule given to, uh, given to or inherited by a person often affixed to a person's name, right? So we can use this one. And then once you the, once you select that, you can click on this to publish. You can add multiple values if you feel it can make the item you are creating more descriptive enough. Um, let's see if we can find chieftaincy title. Chieftaincy. Okay, so we don't have that here, but we have tribal chief. I think this is also a good uh, item to use. Now, let's move to the next statement. Uh, this particular title we're talking about, where is that title? 
where where does this where does the powers of the owner of this title reside or in what jurisdiction does this power over so we'll go for country and the country here will be what um uh, ghana now please pay attention to the uh, pop-ups that you get you can get a lot of items but the description is what is going to give you the distinction so here we have ghana uh the description is country in west africa so this is what we're looking for then we can select this now we can add more statements um now applies to jurisdiction Applies to jurisdiction here is um statement that belongs to or has power over uh, or applies to. So in this case, like in which jurisdiction, in which territorial boundaries does this person powers rule over? So let me now add this one now. Let's let's look at other I other properties. So let's look at sex and gender. So with the sex and gender property, uh what uh which people uh, when it comes to sex like what kind of people are qualified to have this title um i'm not so sure a woman can become the tolona is that correct yes yes all right so we just select male And the list continues. So we could create items for um, as many things as possible. I'm just using this as a case study so that we get to know that we can create items for a lot of things, but not just the things we already know, like persons or places and all, all other things, right? So at this junction, J time T, I'm going to stop sharing here. And then we listen to questions if there are any because we are almost at the R and um, yeah. So Madam Moderator, please over to you. All right, thank you so much facilitator. Um, So please, um, any question, if you have a question, please um, use the hand raise, raise hand button. Um, and then um, you just, on mute, um, yeah, you unmute and then you ask a question. Or better still, you can put it in the chat where we could read it out. All right, so um, Abdullah Abdul Rashid, I see that your hand is up, so um, you can proceed with your question. Okay, good evening. Uh, please, uh, my question is this: uh, during the this in the item creation, uh, uh, this thing, for instance, the Tolongna, uh, this thing, uh, the Elias, you thought of uh, this thing, putting Tolongna as, uh, I, I'm just giving an example, if that was what you were talking about. So if you put, let's see, Tolongna or Tolonglana as an Elias there. So in the case of uh, uh, instances where uh, the current one, you know, the name was, his name was put and then the alias was Tolongna. So in instance where he's no longer the chief and there is someone, someone becomes chief there and the, the item will still be left that way. Won't it be confusion when someone is church using the, uh, the alias? Yes, thank you so much, Irinda Gara. Look, this question is a brilliant question and you deserve a wife for this. Um, so the item we are creating tonight is just for the title Tolonna, but not the person who is currently ruling. So if we are creating an item for the person who is currently ruling, 
we are going to write only his name without adding the title Tolena. In fact, it will even be wrong to add that as an alias, unless, of course, you want to add Tolena, uh, uh, what's the name? Tolena Suleimana, meaning uh, if someone comes searching Tolena Suleimana, it will directly go to Suleimana, uh, the current Tolena, like if his full name was Tolena Adam. It's, um, it's, it's Suleiman Abu Bakari. Mbo. So mm. if we are creating an item for him, it should be Suleiman Abu Bakari, alias Chalena Suleiman Abu Bakari. But it will be wrong for you to just come and write uh, or create the item with the title Chalena Suleiman Abu Bakari. Sh the item itself should, should be the name of the person. Then you can create an alias with the person name preceded or preceded uh, with the person's original name. So let's say Tualena Suleimana Abu Bakare as an alias. But what we are creating for tonight is the title. If you come to that one and you mention Tualena, everybody knows is the title for the chief of Tolon, regardless of who is currently on the seat. If you come and mention and then Yana, everybody knows it's referring to the overlord of Dagbon. If you mention Asentihini, it's a title referring to the overlord of the Asante kingdom. If you mention the Bongura, it's, the, it's a title referring to the overlord of the Gonjaland, right? So we are creating an item for the title, but not the individual. I don't know if this question, uh, if this answers your question. Yes, please. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. All right. Um. Yeah. Um. So we have another question in the chat that says that can you demonstrate how to add references to the Wikidata item? Yes, I think we still have some three more minutes and I can use, I can just do that uh, quickly. So, um, to add... yeah, Shita, sorry to interrupt. Yeah. Yeah, uh, our advice, we hold on to that one. You know, you started okay. somewhere and where you were going, you will have gotten to a point where you were talking about adding reference in Wikidata. And attending to this question will be like, you have jumped from maybe C to maybe data Q. And I believe that yeah. um, things like this, we should have in mind people who are also new to Wikidata. We should have side people in mind and we don't have to be jumping steps like this else we'll get some people confused. I'm aware some of us are already aware of these things, but we should also consider those who are new to Wikidata and do things um, systematically so that we don't get anybody um, confused. Thank you so much for your submission, and I think it makes uh -huh. a lot of sense. So in our subsequent yeah. so, we we'll get about all so, this. Yeah. So, so we're still talking about um, people new to Wikidata. I think the best will have been to, you already explained that you can create um, items for anything. It could be a person, an idea, an animal, a concept, a river, uh, dishes, or whatever. And um, I think time will not allow us to create items for each of these category of um, 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 ideas or concepts. But usually, it's like when you create, when you are, um, getting introduced to Wikidata, um, when you see how an item is created and edited for a human being, it's like a kind of you can use that idea to um, maybe create or edit for things like dishes, rivers, animals, or other things. So I think the best when you were asking for like persons for whom we can create for, I mean, it's unfortunate that we couldn't get uh, a name that has not yet been created for. So I would wish that maybe in the next session, we just start from scratch, create an item for a person, a name, like maybe, or a name of a community. I think those two things, two things are usually something that um, newbies can build upon to create or edit for other concepts. So I wish that in the next session, we create for a person. Like, um, I know because this one is not like, you can create for English and then create for your language. Mostly when you are searching for something, it's possible that some